and stampcreations.blogspot.com and today my plan is to uh, mix up my color lab kind of stuff and play with it a little bit. Um, I decided um, to take some uh, Distress Watercolor cardstock from Tim Holtz from Ranger and cut each of the pieces in half. So I've got 12 sheets here. I also purchased a um, Doris, um, it's from Doris, called the My Boutique Bead Storage System that includes 24 jars with lids as well as a nice little storage case. So I still need to get little circles um, to put the name of everything on. But I'm going to use a Sharpie and write it on the top of my lid and then I'll go back and paint each of the colors across the top and um, label them that way. And then things are kind of mixed up and then I can decide what colors I would want in a huge spray bottle. So I have the basics, um, the basic collection um, from Color Lab, the starter kit. So this will help me figure out what I want to purchase as well. So I've got a few different things and I think we'll just get started. Um, so I've already mixed up a lipstick and um, pretty excited. I might not put as much water in the next one because I have a feeling when I open this, it's going to drip. But hey, at least we're going to play. So I'm going to write on the back of this one, lipstick. I'm going to write Color Lab Lipstick. It's 4R, 1M, and 3G. And it's called Lipstick. And then I'm going to go ahead and... I know this is just going to go everywhere when I open it, so I will not be doing as much water in the future ones. And I just don't want it all over my fingers. Oh well, I'll be a big girl here. I'm hoping that goes on the inside, not the outside. one little itty bitty piece on the outside. So I'm gonna take my watercolor paper and get it wet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the color. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. I'm going to grab my heat tool. I'm going to close this one back up. I'm going to grab my trusty little baby wipe here. Right. 
see where my extension cord is here. Unplug this light over here so I can use this extension. Okay, you want to make sure that you put your lids back on before you use your heat tool. So this is lipstick. This is the lipstick color, and I had the drip that came down one of the sides. So this is lipstick, four red, one magenta, three gold. So that's pretty cool. And that, so that is really nice. And I want to write that right here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this little recipe card with one all the way down and that way all I have to do is put a number on that so I'll let you guys see that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, and I can do 24. I'm going to have to go back and get another thing. What am I at? 15, number 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right. So that one turned out pretty close. Well, I think it looks like lipstick to me. So I guess, you know, red lipstick. It's got a little bit of a gold shimmer. Kind of like that. So I'm just going to write number one in a Sharpie pen on the top of this lid. And I'm only going to be able to get, I'm going to have to run out today and get another, um, set there. So number one. So we know that that's lipstick. I'm going to put that back in my little thing here. So let's go ahead and make, so this is lipstick. Got that. So we're going to put this as a number one. All right. So number one, lipstick. That'll help a lot. Because I, I like things like this, but I struggle so much. All right. So I'm doing these little itty-bitty tiny jars. And I told my husband, I'm like, I don't want to mix a whole thing because if I don't like it, I don't use it. What am I going to do with it? And so I figured out that um, Marion, when she did these, had um, fit this out for two-ounce bottles, her two-ounce bottles, which were great. Well, if you um, cut the recipes in half, 
you would have a half an ounce and I don't know what that looks like technically but I figured it would be kind of this little jar kind of thing so I figured I was gonna play a little so everything wasn't necessarily going to be the correct absolutely correct color but it would be something similar or very close so I figured I would try and you know at least I'd have some idea what the color was because I didn't buy 24 bottles um, I have a bunch of Lindy Stamp Gang that I really do like. I'm using the Marion Smith Color Labs. And um, I'm trying not to make a mess. But, you know, we shall see. <laughs> so the next color we're going to do is Scarlet. So first, I'm going to write that here. Let's flip our thingy here. So... I'm writing Color Lab. And this is supposed to be 6R, 1Y, 3 green, and a, what does she call it? A speck. A speck of black and magenta. So this is called Scarlet, and this is going to be number two. And you know, we're just—I got my little Heidi Swap mat that sticks to everything. Everything sticks to. And um, we're going to go ahead and create this color. So it says it's supposed to be six red. Cut in half would make it three red a lot of red. A speck according to the paperwork is two sesame seeds. The equivalent of two sesame seeds. So this is supposed to be three red. And you're supposed to do level spoons and I am like making a huge mess. There's two. three red, one yellow, so a half of that would be a half a yellow. All right, you definitely, when you buy these, you want to buy extra spoon thingies. You definitely need eight. You get one, <laughs> but you need enough, because I'm afraid I'm going to contaminate my colors here. So a half a yellow, Like a half a scoop of yellow. And then one and a half scoops of green. Oh, no, one and a half scoops of gold. There's no green. You make your own green. All right, so these shimmer ones are in a different kind of container. And they do, uh, they, they glimmer you out. So if you are not a glitter person, and I am the sparkly glitter girl, however, it is a lot. All right, so gold, so it would be one and a half gold. One and a half gold. And then it says a speck of black and a speck of magenta. So basically, I'm going to touch each of those. Oh, this gold is everywhere. I am going to sparkle by the time I'm done today, you guys. This will be cool. A speck of black. So what we're gonna do, oh great, now I've got air coming. Okay, well, we're gonna be a little creative. Oh look, there's black around the edges, so we're just, oh, that was more than a speck. <laughs> um, yeah, 
this might not actually be the one we make. <laughs> and a magenta. Just a, a teeny, 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 tiny little itty bitty bit. Yeah. Which is why, you know. All right. So now we're going to take our trusty water and we're going to let it mix here. So there's one. I think I'm just going to put two waters in here. All right. So this is supposed to be scarlet, you guys. Hopefully I didn't put in so much black in it that it's now black instead of scarlet. It definitely is blood red, you guys. <laughs> it is really dark. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll let that set just a second and we'll take our watercolor paper. We're just gonna hide that stuff that dripped all over the place. I'm going to dunk my trusty little tool and that way it can dry while I am creating with this thing. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is hilarious. Okay. So now what we're going to do is yeah. Okay, this stuff gets everywhere. This is this is a mixed media artist's dream. Fussy crafters like me will have problems. <laughs> All right, let's see what this blood red looks like. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way. Oh, this is really, well, let's see what happens. It is, it is blood red, you guys. And it's got a lot more black than it should have in it. But it looks like blood, which is what I think Scarlet's supposed to look like, right? I'm sure it's supposed to be a lot lighter. Kind of interesting. And like I said, it's got a lot more black in it than it should. So, I don't think this is true scarlet.
but it does definitely have that blood color to it. And by just adding more water, you are re able to reactivate it, which is kind of neat. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'll use this color, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to just remind myself that not so much black. If recreate, it will be less black if follow recipe. All right, I'm good for that. Okay. So this is number two. Kind of. So I'll stick that in our little thing. So, we have lipstick. Oh, wow, look at these. Lipstick, scarlet, only really dark. <laughs> One and two. All right. All right, let's go this way here. All right, so number three is something called cupcake. So we'll just write our thing, Color Labs. This is supposed to be 1M and 1R in order to make cupcake. And this is number three. And I white I cleaned our little scoopy guy. So I've got our little it's my lid. Oof. All right. Okay. So cupcake is 1M. We're going to So half of that would be a half an M. So we're going to do half an M and half an R. Half an M, half an R to give us our half ounce kind of whatever. I did watch someone say that you definitely needed a pipette 
in order to put this on so that you didn't like spray it and have it go all over everywhere. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a fuchsia color. All right. Let's get our little spatula cleaned off so we can do this again. All right, so I think I'm going to grab a sprayer and I'm going to start spraying. Oh, well, this one we're going to change. <laughs> We're, we're, <laughs> we're not going to use this one for number three, because look, I've got ink on it. I'm just going to put the trigger back in my clear thing, I guess. Um, all right, so let's, I don't know. Well, let's see what it looks like with all this other stuff all over it. This is definitely messy, you guys. <laughs> Pretty, it's a very pretty fuchsia color. Too bad. Kind of a pinky purple. It's kind of blended in. It's kind of blended in. Which is kind of nice. But this is called Cupcake. So now we have lipstick, scarlet with a lot of black, and cupcake, which is fuchsia, which is really kind of pretty. All right. Well, I'm excited. Now I figured out how not to like end up with a huge lid full of stuff. So this is number three. I'm going to put that in my trusty little box here. So we've got number four. And number four is something called Lily. So it's three pinks or three peas and uh, one s s 
It's like half of a... <laughs> well, it, it does remind me of the pink icing. And when it's wet, it's really light. And you have to remember that I'm doing these... Um, the, the recipes are for an actual two ounce bottle. So I am like cutting the recipe in half to give me a half an ounce. And so I don't know what a half ounce looks like. So I'm figuring it's, I'm doing two pipettes that kind of come up halfway. I have to go get some clean water though. Um, and, um, yeah. But they're really strong colors. So I don't know. I mean, I think that maybe it's going to be a lot lighter when you, like, don't put all the, all the stuff in there. But I am going to go fill this up with clean water and put a spray bottle on top of it. And there went the, um, So, mine aren't going to be true. They're just going to be kind of like what it could look like, <laughs> I guess. So, this way, at least I get to see what most of the colors are looking like, opposed to just kind of, yeah. Yeah. And that's just because, really, they're sized for two ounces, and... But it is kind of pretty. And you can really color wash it too. Like this is pretty dark because it's coming right out. But if you just let it go, we'll see. So this is number three, which is, or number four, which is Lily. And Lily is supposed to be three peas and a, what did they call it? A speck. <laughs> I see speck and I think mustard seed. And then I'm like, Faith is must uh, as, um, Faith is little as a mustard seed, and yeah, and then I'm like, really? Well, like, if it's one mustard, or one, uh, one, which is two mustard seeds, then half of that would be one mustard seed. Yeah, I'm just a speck of magenta. Okay. Really? This is crazy. All right. We're ready to go again. All right, let's see what we got. We're doing, we're supposed to be doing one, one and a half of this pink. I'm not loving the lit, the Yeah, Gl people who are not glitter people, this would not be good for you. <laughs> people who are not like messy people, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of tempted to. <laughs> All right, so one and a half of the P. There's one. Two, put the lid back on it. One and a half of the P and 
if a speck is two mustard seeds, so we just want one mustard seed. And I just flicked that all over my hand. Okay. Ooh, one. Two. Oh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be really nice and light. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Good thing I just bought new baby wipes. They're all nice and moist, supposed to kind of dry, so. See how vibrant things are. Oh, gosh. I hope this stuff comes off with shampoo like everything else does. Because I just got my nails done and now I'm playing with this stuff. Let's see here. I'm going to take our end of our thing and we're going to stir up till it looks kind of together. It's pretty. All right. Now. We're going to take our, piece, our half a piece of distress card stock and make sure our little thingies are clean. I'm going to spray the dog over here. By wetting our paper, I'm going to... Oh, that's really pretty. really light. Try not to lay it down because I dumped some color. So this is called Lily. Really pretty, really light.
So that's number four, which is Lily. So we have <laughs> we have our wonderful colors here. We got lipstick. We have our very dark scarlet blood color. We have cupcake, which is kind of a little darker than Lily. So Lily has some our cupcake has magenta and red, and then this one has, um, like the pink sparkly stuff and magenta, so a lot lighter. So yeah, number four, we'll just put its lid on here, and we'll write number four, because then I think I'll punch some circles out, or maybe I'll... Um, once they kind of settle a little bit, then, um, what I'll do is I'll paint the little, um, the little garage sale tags. I'm sure I have some, but if not, I'm going to have to go and pick up another, um, thing here. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and try number five, which is called Happy. Oh, and it's an orange color, you guys. Oh, I'm going to like that. All right, so this is Color Labs. This is number five, which is called Happy. And it is supposed to be three red, three R, um, and three Y. Oh, I hope I like this. 3Y, 3Y, and 3R. Okay. So number five. So if we cut it in half, it's one and a half of each of these. There's one and a half, and I'm an orange girl, so hopefully this is going to be cool. One and a half, and one and a half, one and a half Y, and one and a half R. like one. Let's do a half. And go for clean water. And then we'll take the end of our stick, stir that up. And there's a the pigment in here that's all kind of chunky. Ooh, I'm loving that. Oh. That's my orange color, you guys. I like this one. Happy. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good color for Jerry Ann. She likes that a lot. 
I am mixing up the Color Lab stuff that I bought so that I could figure out if I like, you know, what colors I liked. And I didn't buy 24 different bottles to make them up in. So I just decided I would pick up one of these little, they're called My Boutique, a beach storage system. And, um, and that way I could mix up the colors and see if they were colors that I liked <laughs> before I mixed up a whole big one. So that's what I'm doing. I, and then I figured that these were two ounce bottles. So I figured, um, if the, um, if the thing was called for two ounces, I could cut the recipe in half and get an ounce or a half an ounce. I don't know. It was maybe it was like supposed to be two. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is my colors are a little darker than what they're supposed to be. I've already done four. This is number five. I'm going to dip my tweezers in here and see if I can get any old color off of them. And then I'm going to, I took um, Tim Holtz watercolor distress thing, the 20 pieces, and I cut it in half. And then in cutting them in half, I um, am able to do 24 colors. And then I figured out that if I spray, oh, you know what, let's look at what it looks like if we just paint it on dry colors. Oh. If we just paint it on and then spray it after I've dried it. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys know I'm such an orange girl. So this is like, oh. oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, get this one. It's like, it's like sunset starbursty. Yeah, I'm liking this one. All right, so let's dry it since we painted it dry. We'll dry it and then we'll hit it with a wa with the the water and see what that does to it. I wonder if like the distress paints and stuff, if you just, if you hit it with water, if it would make lighter spots. So let's, let's try that really quick. Let's, I think we're going to move that over there just a little. So I just sprayed it with water. Us, oh, it does give us little droplets, you guys. Oh, it does, it does, it does. Watch. I'm not sure if I'm burning the card cell. I hope I'm not burning it. Oh, I'm going to like this a lot. <laughs> All right, I can make a pile of this color. And no, I'm not burning the cardstock because when I spritz that, it just kind of did some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So I can definitely say this color does make me happy. <laughs> Maybe. I guess the other thing is, is I am not an artist. I am a crafter. And so the other thing that's really cool about doing this is realizing what colors make what colors. And by playing with this, knowing that yellow and red, well, I know yellow and red make orange, but by playing with these this way, I like feel like I'm being artsy or something. So anyway, so this is called Happy. It's number five. So now we have lipstick. We have scarlet with way too much black. We have Cupcake, which probably has a little too much something in it. Magenta, probably. And then we have Lily, which is really pretty. And then we have Happy. I like Happy a lot. <laughs> happy and I are good friends. I'm, I'm thinking Happy is going to be a blast. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and twist down my lid here. And I'm going to put number five on it and a star because I like it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right, so number six is called Smoothie. So I'm going to write that on the back here. Color Labs number six is Smoothie. And it is supposed to be 3Y. 2G, 2P, and a half of an R. So if we cut that, if we divide that all in half, and half again, that, yeah, I don't know. I'm going for it. I'm sure that the colors are very similar to what they're supposed to look like, I guess. Maybe. I hope. All right, so smoothie, let's get number six here. And it is going to be one and a half Y. My boys are back. One and a half Y. Um, one G. Hey, Harrison. I'm back. I... It didn't come. Why? I don't know. My package isn't here either. Because... I'm not happy either. Because they delivered it to someone else. Oh, they better not have delivered it to someone else, honey. We are going to have a cow if we don't get it, right? Yeah. Okay. I keep forgetting to. You know, I don't know, honey. I All I can tell you is we just have to wait. One gold. And long, every, we gotta wait a long time. I'm sorry, honey. I just, I don't know what else to tell you. Someone, I think it delivered someone else instead. Well, I don't think so. I think we just, yeah. Why is it? Why did you mute it? Because I'm on Ustream. Doing a show. Yeah, I was mixing up these colors. It's kind of like I'm mixing not, paint. What am I eating right now? Didn't you just come from eating? No, I went to some two stores. You went to two stores. What did you get? Nothing. Nothing? Daddy didn't buy you a single thing. I I want a mirror patch to work in and Ian has a robotic mirror patch boat. Oh. Well call Ian and ask him to bring it by. But I keep but Ian will tell me I I thought you're I think you're still in robotic. Okay, well you'll have to set him straight. Um what can I do right now? Um I don't know. What are you going to do right now? Oh, no, it's Can you go sit on the porch and wait for the FedEx truck? 
Woods effect. Try to have my package. Well, I know it'll have two of mine. So go sit on the porch and wait for the FedEx truck. Or my CD UPS truck is coming. Okay, well, go sit on the porch and wait for them both. Okay? That didn't make me happy. Oh, gosh, you guys. This one's pretty, too. <laughs> Be nice to me. I know I just sent my kid to sit outside and wait. <laughs> but he's as impatient as I am. I did. I told you to sit on the porch and wait for it. All right, I'm going to like this color too, guys. It's got like a purple swirly in it. It's really cool. <laughs> you try reasoning with him. He's waited for a week for the movies that are coming. From a Goodwill in California. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Yes. Where did you guys go? Jack in the Box. And? And Scout Shop. Oh, fun. It's like I said, I wanted to get... Uh, oh, good. I'll save mother. him for Joycey. <laughs> I have a bag for her. What? I wanted to get that upper level book, The God in Church. Yeah. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm really liking this color, too, you guys. It's like an orangey, purpley, purpley kind of whatever. Oh, no. This is better. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is like sun. Oh, this is. Oh. oh, you guys. Okay, the glitter all over me <laughs> um, is worth it for this color, <laughs> the gold glitter. Barb would hate it. Or whoever is the anti-glitter person. But because the glitter gets everywhere, oh, but this is like to die for. This is like the color of a tangerine only with gold in it. Tangerine with a gold. Mustard seeds and tangerines. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'll take some pictures of these and post them on my Facebook group and my blog so that you guys can see the actual colors. Because I'm sure you can't see what I see right here. This is like, ugh. My husband wants my craft supplies, you guys. What do you want? File folders. File folders? Yes. Um, yeah. Do you want file folders? I have black notebooks right there. Or black folder folders. 
There are two of them right there. I think she was kind of like looking at this Oh, stand. you guys. You have four. You only needed two. I only need two. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Ooh, okay. I'm liking that a lot. So that's number six called Smoothie. Terry Ann's going to call it Tangerine Gold. Tangerine Gold. It's just so pretty. All right. So, walk through again. Lipstick, Scarlet with Too Much Black, Cupcake, Lily, Happy, <laughs> and Smoothie, a.k.a. Tangerine Gold. I'm going to have to remake that one because that was really not the right color. You can so see how much black is in there. <laughs> All right, number seven, you guys. I'm really into this now. Uh-oh. I forgot to wash my spatch, my scoopy. All right. So what else can I get these scoopy things from, you guys? We have to brainstorm some ideas on where the scoopies come from. I'm going to have to go raid... Because even, um, uh, those boxes came? Yeah. Are they my boxes? Yeah. Oh, you are amazing. It wasn't a high steering one? Yeah. All right. Here are two packages. Oh, can you bring them over here? I'm, I'm just going to uh, leave them. Uh, oh! Who sent them? I got boxes. You, I got boxes. You ordered those off the internet? I did. They're from close to my heart. And I'm not sure which one is which. And I want to open them. However, it's got new product and I can't show you guys just yet. Sorry, broadcast is over. No, I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep doing. I'm just going to take a break. Everybody go get coffee. I'm Everybody saying, go get a drink. Harrison, you want to make me some coffee? <laughs> from a Keurig? From the Keurig, yes. Can I get, do you have any, what, soda's not available to drink right now? Would you like a soda? <laughs> it's yeah. like 11, it's almost noon. I made the, can I pop them? Ooh. Oh, you guys, this is new product from the Idea Book. The brand new one that's coming. I saw the truck come. Mm -hmm. Can I wait for my Can I just send porch again for mine now? Oh my gosh, you guys. Can I go outside and wait for mine? Yes, you can go outside and wait for yours. So. Okay, that stuff I can't show you yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a good girl. It's a it's a close to my heart box, you guys. this. I bought watercolor pencils from Close to My Heart. I have a project for these paper bags in Slate, Lagoon, Ruby, and Honey. They're pretty. Okay. Let's see. What else I got? Oh, I've got this cute girl. This one you can see, she's a hostess set. She's cute. We interrupt the color lab for a close to my heart intermission. Oh, and then we have this one, which I'm really excited about. It is called Pretty Petals. And all of these flowers cut out with a close to my heart Cricut cartridge. 
And I want to do the Shannon Green kind of thing. So this is helping get that way. But then there's this set, which I think is going to be awesome, which is called Brushstroke Flare. And then... I'm not sure if this is... A, this is um, one that's called a Variety of Thanks. It's a hostess reward, and it says thanks, many thanks, thank you, thank you, thanks, and mercy. And, yep, I'm going to give one of those away. I'm really excited. And then there's this really cute set. It's called Rainy Day. And then there is this one that says Happy to be Friends. And it's got, it says Thinking of You love you just because save the day mother's day all of that i do i want mini spoons and then i got paper fundamentals enchanted and adventure simon says stamps okay and then i got some brushed paper and some brushed compliments, which are vellum. All right, so those are the things I can show you. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Now I gotta get the rest of these together so that I can like play with those sets. Awesome. Oh, here. Um, there you go. Mike's has the mini spoons, too. Like these little itty-bitty things. I'm excited. I got watercolor pencils from close to my heart. Okay. Well, I have a coupon for Mike's. All right. So I'm thinking, since we're going to move to some yellow, I'm going to retire my pretty paper towel. I'm going to stick it in a, in a Ziploc bag. And somebody needs to tell Joycey to send me her email or her mailing address because I have a bag already saved for her. And now I'm going to add all these pretty things for her. However, she's going to like slather something on them and then like they'll bleed onto our beautiful project. But all right, so I've got clean, brand new, clean paper towels. Okay. So one, two, three. I got my trusty little here. Okay, we're going for number seven, Lemon Drop. All right. Lemon Drop is, let's write that down. Sounds like a martini. It's only, well, it is noon. Color Labs. So Lemon Drop is four Y's. Ooh. Oh. Four Y. And this is number seven called Lemon Drop. Okay. This is just going to be yellow, I bet. I want to put some gold in it to make it all shiny. All right, so four and a half would be two. Well, I know how to make yellow. I'm putting gold in it. I'm putting gold in it. So my lemon drop is going to have some sparkling sugar in it. Uh, 
All right. Oh, you guys. Oh. Do you see how bright that is? <laughs> Back here. All right, we're going to rename all of these things. Like, we've got tangerine gold. This will be a lemon drop with a sugar rim. Lemon drop with a sugar rim. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to move that off to the side. All right, where's my tweezers? Here they are. Let's make sure they don't have anything crappy on them. Contaminate my yellow. No orange for them. Okay. What do you got? Mm. Thank you. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is Lemon Drop with a crusted sugar edge. And this is number eight. No, seven. Number seven. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. You guys can't see how sparkly it is. All right. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, these are so pretty. I can't wait to play with these three together. All right. So now we're supposed to move on to Key Lime. Number eight is Key Lime. And let's see. Number eight, Key Lime. This is Color Labs. And for key lime, you need one Y and a speck of black. Or one mustard seed. Okay. Well, 
one yellow. Yellow and black are going to make key lime, which is like greenish gray or greenish yellow. Okay. So let's do half. Half. Kind of. Let's do just a touch more. They're very bright. I'm pretty impressed with how bright they are. Pale yellow? Well, why in the world are we getting black in here then? <laughs> All right. That is weird. I put a touch, not a, like four granules of black in there. We will all be amazed. It's the color I would call key lime. I don't know how. <laughs> A rotten lime. <laughs> This is what I would call key lime, you guys. Only it needs some gold. It's kind of got a yellow greenish tint to it. It's pretty amazing. I know. Who would have thought? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this thing makes this color. And it's like a greeny yellow. Look at that. Yeah. It's like greeny yellow. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, magenta. Not yet. We've got a cosmic color and then some aquas and then I think purple. We did We did lily. No. The purples are way down here. I'm going to have to Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, we're on number 9. Number 9 is called avocado. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and Avocado. Avocado, 
I'll write that down here so we don't lose our colors. <laughs> uh, this is Color Labs Avocado, and this is number nine. And this is supposed to be two yellow, half a black, and two mustard seeds of C, which is cyan. Wow, that is just bizarre. <laughs> just that that really dark color makes that greenish what I would consider key lime. Wow. All right. All right, what do I got next? Okay, two yellow, so one yellow. one yellow, a half a black, so like a quarter of a black, <laughs> so I just used the tip of my thing, and a touch of one one. Oh wow, this is purple. Alright, so we're going to do Oh my goodness, that went like totally green, you guys. Okay. It reminds me of dying Easter eggs, you guys. You could use these to dye Easter eggs. They're non-toxic. Although it does say use with precaution and nobody under 18 can play with it. All right, you ready for some avocado? Here we go. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of the refrigerator we had in 1970. I like it though. It's not as dark. I know. I am amazed. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's like exciting.
Wow. Yeah, I'm mixing up all the color labs, Martha. And we're having a grand old time. Look, I made orange. <laughs> and we made something called key lime. <laughs> so uh, that is really pretty. So we've got key lime right next to it. And this is our lemon drop with sugar crust. And then we have smoothie. And then we have happy. These colors are, I like these colors. And then we have lily. And then we have a very dark cupcake. I think I mixed that one. I'm getting better at the mixing, I think. Scarlet with way too much black. And lipstick. So we're at number 10. So this is number 9. I like that a lot. Number 10 is called Sublime. And I need to get some water. Be right back. I'm going to rinse my... I need to get some fresh water and rinse my brush water because I don't want it. This pigment is really, really strong. water you guys fresh water yay what you doing you're gonna go work in the garage or maybe take a nap Ooh. okay yeah I'll ask him if they want to go. Harrison won't. He's like wanting the mailman to come. Okay. So this takes three cyan and two yellow. And then this color is called, this is number 10, and it's called Sublime. I so let's. I'll spend less than $500. You better spend a whole lot less than 500 bucks. Be less than 50. Okay. All right, I'm really... Um, you want to do me a favor? I know what I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Will you go to Walmart? <laughs> Will you go to Walmart? And okay. in the bead section... In the bead section... Is this thing. It looks just like this. I need another one. Okay. Could you get me one? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Yeah. Look at these cool colors. Mm -hmm. This, this color right here is this one right here. <laughs> it like looks black and it came out light. Mm -hmm. It's like amazing. Mm -hmm. And this is avocado. Okay. All right. And then um, what else did I need, guys? I needed, oh, if at Woodcraft... They have little things like this. You can't have this when I need it. But this little Scoopy dude. Little Scoopy dudes. Yeah, I need little Scoopy dudes. <laughs> I will look for Scoopy dudes. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, Martha says she needs some stuff while you're out, too. Okay. So we need to find her some more confetti. Confetti. <laughs> we... <laughs> It's an awesome thing when you got a husband who will buy you a container so you can finish up and find you some Scoopy Dudes. I will be back in a couple hours. Okay. Well, <laughs> it should take us a little while longer to find the Scoopy Dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <laughs> Scoopy.
Scoopy dudes. Yep. Do you need a picture of it? I can eat. I can send you a text. Well, actually, Darcy says, make sure to ask the salesperson if you can find the Scoopy dudes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do Sublime. Three C's. Wow. Three C's. So we're going to do one and a half C's. One, and a half. Oh, I should have started with the yellow. And now we need a scoop of yellow. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use the tail end of our scoop here. All right, I think that looks good. Uh, I've had the mildest winter ever. You're going to miss out on the... Stop. Mm. I got boys upstairs fighting with each other, you guys. Never thought I'd have that. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. All right, this is called Sublime. I don't think we've had snow that, like, settled anywhere um, since uh, right before Christmas. Mm. All right, so this is called Sublime. It looks like grass green to me. I was kind of expecting neon something, but honestly, it's kind of grass green.
All right, guys, this one is called Sublime, and it's really a bright, bright green. It's like grass green. And this one is number 10. Okay, so here is the last couple. So here is Sublime, Avocado, <laughs> Key Lime, Lemon Drop with Sugar, and Smoothie. So you guys can see, like, really the color kind of pieces. I, I'm really impressed with this stuff. I really am. However, I think it... <laughs> I'm good for buying a bottle. You mix it up. I'll just add water. <laughs> However, it is fun. Our next color is Corvette. Corvette. So, this is number 11. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So it should be four cyan and two mustard seeds of black and magenta. Right? So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Are you still here, honey? I am. Oh, okay. Go outside and wait for the mailman. Because the mailman won't have them. UPS or FedEx. Really? So UPS is supposed to come. Mom, the FedEx man just gave me those two. That you okay, well, FedEx didn't have your package then, right? No, it, I don't think it did. Okay. So, now you have to go wait for the UPS guy. No, I want to call the UPS. Well, go look up their phone number. Go look at their phone number. You got an internet? Go look it up. Well, my iPad just shows a power block. Why? Is it dead? Yeah. Well, Why? Then you need to put it, plug it in. It's already plugged in, but James traded cords. Wait, 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 wait. James traded cords again? Yeah. To one that's not working. James keeps doing that. Okay. Well, hey, Dave, do you want to take care of that issue? Because that's not fair to Harrison. No, it's not. And, that, and if James's cord is not working, he needs to tell us so we can get him a new cord. Okay. Opposed to just trading them for Harrison's, because that, yeah. Yeah, it's on the dresser right near my bed. Okay. Harrison, go get your cord, honey. Yeah, but my iPad died. Well, go. Daddy's getting you the new cord. All right, so this is called Corvette. You guys are enjoying the conversation in my house, too, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. I'm That's pretty. I'm hungry right now. Well, go get something to eat. I just ate breakfast at I I keep um I wanted to pump gas and James pumped it instead. James pumped my gas instead of you? I wanted the rogue but the rogue needs gas now. Oh the rogue does need gas. But Daddy took the white car instead. Alright. Can I finish my color lab things and I will take you to get gas and you can pump my gas. Okay? But Daddy did that. Well, I can take you, and then I still don't have to pump gas, and you can pump my gas. Yeah, my iPads won't. Daddy keeps. Daddy got me. it. Daddy got it. Daddy's fixing it, Harrison. Okay. The joys of boys. 
All right, guys, you ready for some Corvette? Only this probably needs some sparkle. got some goop in there. All right, you know, they really should not put packages are supposed to be delivered between particular days when you have a kid on the spectrum and then have it not show up. Because really, I have a kid who is just beside himself right now. <laughs> Somebody want a 12 year old? Share. I gotta like. Speck of pigment at the end. All right. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay. All right. Both cords work fine. Yeah, I'm... It's just it was that dead. Gotta wait. Well, okay. So I'm going to... I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay and run interference. Oh, okay. Well, I can be done, too. Harrison really wants to go put gas in the Rogue. And while I understand that his behavior is really not what we want to reward at this point, but mm -hmm. I think getting him out and letting him go do something with you... Mm-hmm. I told him I would take it, and he told me, no, Daddy gets gas. All right, guys, this is really pretty. I think I we just need to told, separate them because... I also told him, you tried to tell me we're taking, not taking the right car this morning because the Nissan needs gas. Right. I told him we were taking the white car because I decided that's what we're taking. Okay. That's nice. Mom, I am blowing you now. Then don't hit yourself in the face. What, Harrison? I hit myself in the face and I got blood on my mouth. Ouch! Yeah. That's probably not a good idea. Natural consequences. Yeah, I need to do so. I need to be by myself. Okay. Well, where somewhere. do you where do you want to be by I yourself? I need to be at the. Boy, I want if I want to go. The, the boys and girls club is not open today. You are quite aware of that. What can I do if I'm being mean? You know what? Hang out in the backyard on your scooter. But I will rip the grass. You can go hang out on your scooter. Right, right, right on your scooter. All right. I've got blood on my mouth. I hear you. I hear you. Hold on a second. And it will really hold on. All right. Here is a baby wipe. You guys, I'm going to have to take an intermission here for a few minutes. I will come back. I've been streaming now for quite a while. So let me do an intermission. I will come back. I will finish up the other 12, 13 colors. Right. I'm going to get Harrison something to eat. I think he's dying for some attention. 
and that but I also thought Jean was gonna stream or somebody was streaming soon but I wanted to show you this is I, I'll come up and get you uh, you know what I'm gonna make a sandwich Harrison I will make one for you too so this one is Corvette we have sublime Harrison. we have avocado we have <laughs> key lime we have lemon drop with sugar since we put the sparkle in it we have smoothie happy lily cupcake that's a little too dark scarlet that's got too much black and lipstick but I think I'm getting better with the colors, the idea of how much color to put in different things. So let me get him. Um, yeah, I'll pop in and look and see. I just want to record the rest of it for you guys as well. Um, because I think people will want to see what they think the colors are. And then what I'll do is I will take a photo and post it on my blog and on my Facebook page. So that you guys can see kind of the true colors. Because these are just, I mean, they're gorgeous. They really are gorgeous. And that, and so I'm really, I'm really excited about them. <laughs> so, I will take a cute, a quick little picture and post that. And then I will go feed my kid. And see if I can't find either the UPS guy, the mailman, somebody to make him happy. Which I don't know that's going to happen or not. And um, we'll kind of go from there. Alright, so I will be back probably in about half hour, 45 minutes. And we will see what we can do. Okay. I will. All right. So I'm going to send these to my Facebook page. 